Double Olympic champion Kasta Semenya has won an appeal at the European Court of Human Rights in a case involving testosterone levels in female athletes. Let's take a look at what this ruling could mean for the world of sport. The South African athlete was the 2012 and 2016 Olympic champion in the 800 meters. She's been in a long-running battle to challenge rules that require female athletes with high natural testosterone to take drugs to lower it. When you're the best in the world, people get obsessed you know, with what you do. She has a medical condition known as hyperandrogenism. It's characterized by higher than usual levels of testosterone, a hormone that increases muscle mass, strength and hemoglobin, which affects endurance. In order to compete in women's events, athletes with differences in sexual development that result in high testosterone levels must lower them to those of, quote, a healthy woman with ovaries. They may take the contraceptive pill, have a monthly injection or undergo surgery to remove testes. The Court of Arbitration for Sport ruled in 2019 that world athletics rules were necessary for fair female competition. Europe's top human rights court ruled in Semenya's favour on Tuesday, saying courts in Switzerland should give her a chance to fight the current requirements. She'd approached the European Court of Human Rights in February 2021 after losing appeals to sport's highest court and the Swiss Federal Tribunal. By a slender majority of four votes to three, the ECHR ruled that Semenya's original appeal against world athletics regulations had not been properly heard. Seema Patel is an expert in gender discrimination in sport. It's a monumentous decision that's been made and it will really impact upon the dialogue going forward in terms of how we understand the interaction between human rights and sports regulation. Above all, I think what we need to remember is that there is an athlete behind this story and she was exposed to the world at such a young age and thrust into the spotlight forced to undergo hormone treatment in order to compete in sports, so she sacrificed her career for this legal challenge. Semenya may now be free to challenge once again rules that have left her career on hold. World Athletics say it stands by the rules which remain in place for now. Semenya has said they're discriminatory and that contraceptive pills have made her feel constantly sick. World Athletics has consistently said the regulations are aimed at creating a level playing field for all athletes.